Before we jump into this week's video, make sure you go to Flag Football with CoachD.com. Subscribe and you'll get 10% off all of our playbooks and drill packs. You know, coaches always ask me, which playbook do you recommend? Well, when I go to playbooks here, the one that I would say, if you want everything that you will ever need as a coach, I would jump on the complete coach package. It has all playbooks, all drill packs, everything that you need all in one place. You have age-based, you have drills, you have defense, offense drills, everything. This has become the most important product for coaches this season and last season. Ever since I released this one, this one been flying off the shelf. You can also grab your drill packs individually. You can look at popular videos and of course my favorite testimonials with hundreds of coaches saying how much they love what we're doing. So make sure you jump on here, flag football with coachd.com. Now I'll pass it over to Coach D to get into this week's video. It's flag football Friday. Hi everyone, this is Coach D and welcome to Flag Football Friday. Today we're gonna go over some basic warm-ups and how we can incorporate the word of the week into our warm-up conversation. Look, if you've been watching me forever or a week or whatever, you know that I'm all about being an encourager, that it's all about life skills and not really about the technical skills for these young players. So. A great way to do that is having the word of the week. Now, the word of the week is something that you plan out or you have your assistant coach plan out, and it's basically having a conversation about one of those big words, right? Encouragement, sportsmanship, grit, leadership, whatever that word is to you, something that means a lot to you and that can mean a lot to these kids out here. But what I've learned is that Having a conversation is one thing. Having a lecture never works. You're never going to keep their attention for more than a minute, maybe 30 seconds, depending on the age. So what we have to do is we have to incorporate that conversation in something that we are gonna be doing anyway. Can we do it during drills? No. Can we do it during plays? No. But can we do it during our warm-up? Absolutely. So let me show you how I do my warm up every single practice. First of all, I usually have a nice agility ladder as kids are coming, they're showing up a little bit early or they're two minutes early, whatever. Sometimes coaches have balls that they can throw around. I like to have an agility ladder, it gets them moving and whatnot. So that's number one. Number two is I create a circle. So I've put out just a couple cones. They're a little bit hidden in our, in our leaves here. Hello fall, my favorite time of year by the way. All right, so I've got a cone here, I've got a cone out here, a cone, and a cone. Now, I don't want it too far apart because then I'm yelling across the field. Then when I'm asking the kids to engage in a conversation, nobody can hear them. So what I want you to do is have it close enough right so that you guys are having a conversation or able to to hear one another to have a meaningful chat, okay? So we have our warm-ups here, and I like to be on the outside, right? I don't like to be in the middle, but I like to be on the outside just as one of the players. And so we start the conversation off with, all right guys, word of the week. This week, it's encouragement. And what I like to do with the word of the week is I love to talk about what it looks like. It's not really about defining it, or giving a, a you know technical academic, uh-uh. It's about what does it look like. So I'll say, okay, what does encouragement look like, or what does that mean to you, right? And then they'll start sharing, and usually you get one person, and then another person, and then you just go around. All right, Sally, what does what does that mean to you? All right, uh, Greg, what does that mean to you, right? And they start to share little ideas, and then it's like, okay, well, what does that look like in school? What does that look like with your parents? What does that look like with your siblings? How can I do that a little bit more as a coach? How can you do it a little bit more as a, a student or a brother 
or whatnot. So then they start hearing these ideas from each other while they're warming up. So they're getting warm, they're, they're not only their bodies are getting warm, but their brains are starting to key in and focus in. Now, if you have somebody who's a little quiet, then that's okay, that's all right, but you wanna bring that out. And then you, that's a great idea, that's really awesome, I love that. So sportsmanship, grit, leadership, you know, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna share those words of the week with the parents so that throughout the week they can weave that word into everything they're doing all right how can we do how can we be an encourager today you know how can you be a leader at school today we want the parents to really engage that so it's taken from the field to home so that really transfers. We call it a transfer of learning so that it becomes part of who they are, right? So that's why it's so important. Now, let's talk about our warm up, okay? So as we're warming up, we are talking about the word of the week. So first thing I like to do is I like to do some windmills, right? All right, so the word of the week, this week is encouragement. So what does encouragement mean to you guys? Go 10 each side. All right, George, excellent, right. Okay, what do you think? Then I like to go across. I go 30 seconds across here and see how I can have a conversation at the same time. You know, instead of being like, okay, hey, what'd you guys do this week or what's going on? Do 30 seconds there. All right, give me 30 seconds there. Ooh, I like that. So what did you guys do this week, do you think, to be an encourager? Right, did you see anybody else do that? Okay, right, perfect. Neck rolls, all right. So as I'm doing this, I'm able to still have a conversation, still engage, right? And now they're thinking of, okay, so out on the field, what can I do to encourage someone at practice? Perfect. Yep. And look, training 101 is when somebody gives an answer, instead of saying, no, that's not it, be like, okay, and then do a follow-up. Well, what about this? Or how does it feel for you? When you're encouraged, what does that feel like? All right? Then from there, we're gonna do jumping jacks. So at the same time, right you're <laughs> you're walking and chewing gum you are able to have a conversation at the same time you're doing this and you're correcting form all right hey that's a good idea all right awesome so what are we gonna do every time somebody is an encourager today yeah all right we'll give them a high five or we'll yep and does there have to be a like a moment when they have encouragement or or is it like any time, even if they mess up, can you still encourage? I go down for 30 seconds and touch my toes. Yeah, that makes sense. Because what happens is if I take five minutes to have a conversation where they're just standing there or they're just sitting there, uh -uh. but if I can incorporate it into my, my warm up, that's the magic. I think you get it. So I go down for here and then I do, uh, 10 cherry picks. So I go, I'm gonna step back here. One, two, three, four, two. All right. Hey, good form there. All right, didn't know you could touch your toes. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, so we do a couple of those, and then what we're gonna do is lunges in a circle. All right, so what does encouragement sound like? Great job, so everybody is going, okay? Everybody's moving this way. Hey, that was really a nice try. Whoa, you almost got it. And do we encourage the other team or are we only going to encourage ourselves? Right, why? Why do we wanna do that? Exactly. Right, we go twice around and then what I like to do is jog. So what I'll do is I'll set out five yards, okay? Five yards away. When they get to that five yard mark, they do a breakdown. 
So I'm gonna run to five yards. Let's say I put a, a uh, let's say it's five yards away. I put a cone right there. So we're all gonna jog in a line. Okay, we're all gonna line up just like this. We jog up to it, boom. And when we break down, we say the word, encouragement. We turn around, back to it, encouragement. Go back, encouragement. That is corny, Coach D, that is corny. Yeah, it's corny. But it starts to build that part into it so that that word is not just a word, it becomes who they are right? It starts to become a little piece of character. And then if you transfer that to your parents, man, and they could take that to their family, then, right? That piece, that word, that encouragement, it's not just a word, it's a behavior. That behavior spreads, right? And that's what it's really about. So don't just use the word of the week as a lecture. Uh -uh. Use it as a conversation, Use it during the warm up, right? And then incorporate it throughout your entire practice. So when they're doing a drill, yes, absolutely, all right, good. And then when you're doing your plays or when you're in your game, what happens is I like to get all my players that are not on at that, at that time, they're not on the field, they're on the sideline. I like to have them stand up or give me a knee right out here and they are encouraging their players, right? All right, guys, come on. Here we go. We got this. You got this, right? Because that's what it looks like. That's what leadership looks like. That's what sportsmanship looks like. That's what all of that looks like. And what they'll start to do is they'll start to point out, hey, that guy wasn't very encouraging. Okay, can we control other people? No, we cannot. We can only focus on what we can control, which is we can be the example. So the next time, he does something, she does something, just go up to him and be like, hey, that was really great. Awesome, see ya, right? So that's all we can do. So you're really building a lot of those, those leadership, some of those, those life skills in those moments that could be a waste or that could be a throwaway. So make it a little bit more intentional. Okay. All right. So that is it. Look, this is coach D. If you like what you see, then you got to subscribe, hit that bell so that you never miss a video. And then of course, share, like, and comment. And if you need those football plays, right? If you need football plays, drills, any of that, go to flag football with coach D.com. And I got you covered. I'll talk to you in the next video. Take care.